YouTubers! Jamie Oliver here, I hope you're well. We've got an exciting little recipe today. Oh yes, we've got a green sauce. You're gonna love it. You're gonna be able to use it on so many different things, meat, fish, vegetarian dishes. And I got briefed by a very special guest. I'm talking about Michael from Vsauce. Hey. How you doing, man? Jamie. Wicked to see you. FoodTube, it's an honor to be here. I'm very excited. Your brief to me is what does curiosity taste like? Right. I made this channel about answering weird questions and its name, Vsauce. Sounds weird, sounds food related, but I've never tasted it. I wanna know what it tastes like to be curious even about ridiculous stuff. Mm. So my challenge to you is to tell me in your expert opinion what that would taste like. And of course, it has to be green. Okay, should we do it? Let's do it. Let's do it! Right, first up, the base. Tomatillo. This is an unusual tomato. So this is curiosity, Whoa. this is green. As far as a really good tomato is concerned. Oh my goodness. It's more acidic, more cellular. Very acidic, yeah. What we're gonna do is cook it. And we don't just wanna cook it. We wanna char them, we wanna yeah. add secret flavors. The best kind of thing to do it on is a little char grill like this. Get it screaming hot. I want one kilo of these bad boys wow. just over here. So tomatillo, Ooh. we wanna blacken it up. How long does it take? I just do it for like 10 minutes. But while that's kind of charring up, let's talk about some other flavors. Yeah. Mint, coriander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, basil. But we're gonna add to that. Four spring onions, super healthy. Four cloves of garlic. I think they're ready to be turned. You said, what does curiosity taste like? Yeah. A lot of cooking starts with curiosity because I don't really follow many recipes. I kind of make it up. Sometimes I just look at a bowl. I can pretty much invent a recipe that I've never cooked before and I can get it roughly right seven or eight times out of 10. That's brilliant. All I can do is look at this and go, did you know that the pepper is full of capsaicin, which <laughs> stimulates pain receptors in the yeah. tongues of mammals? And Well, I can do that too and say, oh, well, um, cap capsaicin is also the nearest form of natural morphine. Do you know only mammals are affected by the heat from peppers? Garlic mm -hmm. is a natural antiseptic. Capsaicin <laughs> is an alkaline oil. The heat is not in the seeds, it's actually in the white membrane. Milk contains an enzyme that breaks down that capsaicin. Chickens self-medicate. Bananas don't have seeds. Garlic thins the blood. I did a whole episode on the five second rule. It's more like the one femtosecond rule. What's a femtosecond? Uh, that's how long it takes intermolecular forces between objects that are in close proximity to react to one another. The thing is, you don't have to have reflexes at the one femtosecond scale because our immune systems are amazing things. And I'll tell you what, these ingredients are really good for your immune system. Wonderful, so let's get to it. Do my best to chop okay. this up like Just this. Very, very coarsely. The stems and, too. And we're doing the stems because they've all got flavor yeah. and goodness. We're then gonna take our chili and we're gonna put that in as well. Then we've got our tomatillo. Yeah, show me how the skins come so look, off. You can just peel them off. See this is burnt here. Under this burning, see that? It's like toffee apple. Oh wow. It's, it's like fudge. Skin's coming off. Ooh. That would have been just white juice, but now we've caramelized it. Look at the beautiful color of that. Mm. So we're gonna go in. Yeah, put it in. The juice. So let's put the lid on that and then just turn the knob. This is the most cooking I've ever done. How long does this go? So, yeah, mm. it's nice, it's fresh. You know it's healthy. Very fresh. So we're gonna go in with a good couple of teaspoons of salt. Also, we want to hit it with some really good quality oh. olive oil. So we're going to add ah. about four or five tablespoons of that. Yeah. And it's going to give it a shine and kind of help transmit and plug in all those flavors together. Then we're going to hit it up with some vinegar. Again, it's mm. a great preservative, but it's going to give it a tang. Wang! Yeah. Tang. Back of the tongue. Mm -hmm. psh, psh, psh. We're going to go in with about four tablespoons. All right, then we're going to whiz up again. <laughs> Let's take a taste. Take your weapon. Mmm. The vinegar added a lot. Mmm. The salt is making everything ping. much sharper. Ping, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good, yeah? I think it's ready to bottle. Let's bottle it. Look at that. That's V sauce right there. V sauce. Love it. Jamie, thank you so much. I am so honored and excited and still a bit nervous because of where the stickers all went, but. I'm glad this happened today. Vsauce, 
It's good with everything. If you haven't subscribed to him, make sure you subscribe. Yeah. No, subscribe to him. No, no, you're better than me. Subscribe to Food Team. Come Together on. we're a beautiful thing though, aren't we? we subscribe to both. Yeah.